Okay, we have our Microsoft 365 environment set up. Now let's talk about adding users to it. And there's actually a couple of different ways we can do this. We can do this from our Microsoft 365 Admin Center, or we can do this from, it used to be Azure AD, now it's Intra. So let's start with the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I'm gonna to go to Users and Active Users, and this will show me all of my users. I can also uh, deal with contacts here if I wanna add a contact or add multiple contacts or export them, guest users and view deleted users. So I'm gonna to go to my active users and I have a couple of different things I can do. So this will let me add a single user. This will allow me to add multiple users. And if I add multiple users, and there's some ways I can do this in PowerShell, which are super powerful, but I can also just type in multiple different options here, or I can upload a CSV file with user information. And if I do that, I can download a blank CSV file with the required headers, uh, download one that includes the example user information. I can see what this looks like, download the sample, build it out, upload the file here by clicking on browse, picking the file after I've edited it, upload it, and it will create uh, users for everybody in my CSV file. And then down here is a nice little video telling you a little bit more about how to do that. Okay, if I don't want to add multiple users, I'm just going to add a single user here. So I'm going to click on Add User, and I'm going to add Bilbo Baggins. Whoops, let me do that right. Baggins. Display name, username is going to be B Baggins. And then I can automatically create a password, and that's going to be the default option. It was unchecked here because I've been playing around a little bit. But I can automatically create a password and then require them to change it when they log in or not. If I uncheck this, this will give them a fairly long, complex password. We'll actually work with that one first. So I'm going to go ahead and require them to change their password when they log in. Now, I can assign them a license or I can choose to create the user without a product license. Notice there's a little warning here. They may have limited access to Microsoft 365 until we get a license assigned. So we'll go ahead and assign them a license right away. We also have to make sure that we set a location for them. And this is basically just what country they're going to be in. So, whoops, let me set that back to United States. And next. Okay, optional settings here. I can skip this. This is not required. Let's start with the profile information. This is going to be things like job title, department, office, phone numbers, addresses. Okay, this is primarily going to be used. You don't actually have to put it in. It's primarily going to be used when you're searching for users. The other thing we can do is we can set administrative access here. So the default is to create them as a user with no admin center access. I can also choose to give them admin center access to specific admin centers, or I can choose to do this by category. So if they're gonna be an exchange administrator, this will give them access to the tools that they need in order to be able to administer exchange. So this is convenient when I am creating users to be able to define right here what permissions I want them to have. Now this is gonna, Bilbo is gonna be a standard user. So I'm gonna select that and click next. Okay, now I can review everything that I've done. When I'm happy with it, I can click Finish Adding, and that's gonna bring me here. So I can print out my user details. So there's a little preview, and notice it's gonna have their username and their password. I can also display their password here. So I can print this, give this to Bilbo, and say, okay, Bilbo, this is how you're going to log in. I can also choose to send an email to Bilbo, but note this, this uh, email does not include the password information. So I'm still gonna have to find a way to give them that password information. Um, in fact, just to preview that email, I'm gonna open this up and this is what it's gonna look like. Get started with Microsoft 365, tell them a little bit about it. Not, not a whole lot of, information you can add more information here if you want and then you can choose to save these as a template if you want also if you want to add a new user that's going to be here 
or I can just click close, which then I'm going to have to go add the new user later, but that's okay. I'm going to hit F5 to refresh, and there is my Bilbo Baggins user. Let me go ahead and add one more, and this time I'm going to specify the password. We're going to do Frodo Baggins, and F Baggins, and this time I'm going to uncheck automatically create a password. Now, this is something we can do if we have like a default password that we want everybody to use. This is a default password we're going to set your password to. You sign in and then you're forced to change it. And that's fairly common. That way we don't have to give everybody an individual one. So I'm going to do maybe uh, do my um, default password. Require user to change password and next log on. I communicate it once and then everybody gets it. If I do it the other way, then I have to make sure everybody gets their specific unique password. It just depends on what you want. I'm going to click next. We're going to assign a license. I'm going to click next. And um, I, we've already looked at roles. We've looked at uh, profile info. So I'm going to click next and finish adding. And this is going to create my other user. Again, scroll down. If I'm doing multiple ones, click here to add another user. I'm going to click close and refresh. You'll notice it doesn't come up. Eh, that one didn't come up immediately. Let's try this again. There we go. Frodo Baggins came up. Okay, so now we've created a user. Now let's look at some of the settings we have for this user. So I'm going to click here. And here's the account information, manage username and email, um, last sign in, sign out of all sessions, set an alternative email address, uh, which groups do I want them in, which roles do I have them in, who's their manager, contact information, Microsoft 365 uh, applications that they are activations, devices that they have registered with Intune, uh, licenses and apps, which license do I want them to have? What's their location? What apps do I want them to have access to or not have access to? And then mail and OneDrive settings. Okay, so this is all of their user information. Couple of things that I can do here real quick. I can reset their password if they lose it. I can block sign in and I can delete the user. So if you delete a user, and there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can do it, you can bulk delete by selecting multiple and doing delete user. You also have your little drop down here where you can do some basic management, including delete the user from here. Notice that it's easier to delete a user. They give you more ways to do that than just block a user. Um, one thing that we're going to deal with at some point, let's say I want to delete a user but I'm worried about their mailbox information getting lost because when you delete the user, it goes into the recycle bin for 30 days and then you're going to need uh, or they're going to lose that mailbox information. You can. So I'm going to come here to show all and this is going to show me all my admin centers and I'm going to go to exchange. And let's say I know I'm going to delete Bilbo Baggins because he's retired to Rivendell and is no longer carrying rings all over the place. So I can select a user and uh, for a user, let me, well, this let me edit the mailbox information. I can delegate the mailbox uh, to somebody else and I can convert it to a shared mailbox. So this is something we'll do sometimes when we go to delete a user. We convert their uh, mailbox to a shared mailbox, give other people access to it. We delete their user, but then we don't lose all of their email information if we need to reference back to it. Okay, now that is an overview of how we can manage users in Microsoft 365. We can also manage them using Entra ID but let's tackle that in our next video.